Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today I decided to speak uh, more deeply regarding legendary hero Thea because her versatility and in general overall gameplay is pretty interesting and I think there is a couple of ways of playing with her and I will try to explain my opinion and my uh, view regarding this legendary hero for you guys so it will be uh, understandable as, sim as simple as uh, it is. So in order for us to understand why Thea is uh, so popular throughout the every season of the Call of Dragons, we need to understand what kind of synergies she has uh, with his with her skills. First skill is like uh, like in general, <clears throat> Thea does not do a damage like directly skill damage. Uh, Thea does uh, like uh, shielding. Uh, like your, it's like giving the buffs, like she's generally buffer and shielder and general support. So like her first skill is like shield factor, which is like 1000 uh, shield and hero skill damage dealt bonus. So what, whichever hero Thea is paired with has a 15% uh, more skill damage bonus. So uh, like second skill is a passive skill, like uh, like attack bonus in percentages up to 15% and skill damage taken. So like you are reduction, you reducting the skill damage of the enemy while you are giving more to your squad. So like here is already we can see a synergy. It's like buffing yourself, debuffing the enemy while having a lot of shields. Uh, third skill uh, of the Thea is like defense bonus up to 20%, which is a lot, uh, attack bonus 10%, and march speed bonus up to 20%. Well, like uh, if we think that Thea is already a flyer, additional march speed bonus of 20% will be amazing, so it will be easy for you to move around the terrains and the general map, so you will have a better uh, quality of attack in the battlefield. Uh, Thea's fourth skill is again um, attack bonus up to 10% and ma max attack bonus to 30%. So again, a lot of buffs for yourself and a uh, lot of shields and a lot of uh, skill damage uh, adding and removing to the enemies. Well, uh, it will be hard for free-to-play players to awaken Thea, but still we need to uh, read and we need to understand what her awakening skill does. Again, large amount of damage shield factor, like she, she will have 2000 shield factor whenever it's um, awakened. Uh, while gaining synergy, increasing hero skill damage uh, dealt by 15%. Uh, so it's like a before and after awakening, like she's getting a shield factor like almost uh, 1000 to two nearby uh, legions, which means it will be 2000 because one for one in the second shield factor to second. Like, same, like, you are giving your shield factor to two enemy legions, which is pretty cool to have. And, like, um, we, we need to also understand that uh, she's flyer, and it will be amazing if she will be with a squad with a flyer. Uh, regarding skill set, it's all about uh, buffing yourself, debuffing enemy, and having uh, shields um, all around the uh, fighting with legions. Uh, like regarding like talents, uh, like there's a couple of ways of playing with her. Uh, in my opinion, best way the overall tree, because like there is many different play styles with her, and like you won't gonna be uh, changing talent trees uh, every single time you're changing the second hero of the Thea. So like overall tree is overly good, uh, but if you want to go for a super tree, like you will have more shields, more healing. Uh, like more sustained stuff uh, but in my opinion overall uh, talent tree with the PvP half will be always good choice to have like uh, regarding like hero pairs it is the most interesting regarding Thea uh, because like there is you can play with her I think with anyone uh, but uh, right now I will be speaking like uh, heroes which will be perfectly matched with her and like Thea is the only hero uh, where like it depends on your faction which faction you are so let's imagine you are a league of uh, order of course you're gonna go Thea and Atheist combination simply because uh, like Atheist has a high uh, skill damage factor uh, epic uh, hero uh, like getting extra rage which means you're gonna get more shields and more skill damage factor while Thea will give you uh, like additional bonuses with the skill factor 
also like HP bonus uh, heals receiving because Tia will give you heals and shielding uh, and 4 skill is march speed bonus and damage taken reduction uh, like amazing skills to have with Thea and also Atheus Legion has a 30% chance to receive healing when it hit with the normal attack so um, like if Thea is giving shields Atheus is giving heals Atheus has a skill damage factor Thea is giving the like the skill damage factor bonus uh, so HP bonus so like match it's perfect match uh like even if like doesn't matter if atheus is epic hero it's a great match to have uh second hero pair which is also amazing if you are wilderberg and you have special units uh Riders, which are marksmen, uh, are marksmen will be like Thea and Craig uh, simply because again Craig is like has a high high skill damage factor uh, skill set, and Thea will give you even more. Uh, also, you are flying uh, with Craig and with Atheist too. This is like amazing pair to have if you are playing with uh, Wilderberg and. <clears throat> Like third, of, of course, Spring Wardens also has a great synergy with Thea, and it would be like new hero uh, forum deal, of course, because it's Flyer 2. But uh, before, uh, Eagles did, didn't have anything to play uh, around for Eagles, so finally we got Foron Deal. Foron Deal will give you skill damage factor up to 1200. Uh, also, like uh, Foron Deal has a many different buffs and bonuses even if you are a deputy like skill damage deal to plus four percent uh, also attack bonus is great and uh, even here you are getting physical defense and march speed uh, reduction so this is like a couple of ways of uh, playing with Thea, uh, but like Thea is one of the most versatile uh, legendary heroes uh, in the game currently because I think you can play with anything, like any hero will be great with Thea. But simply because she's a flying hero, I think best ways to utilize her will be with the flying hero because flyers are moving super fast in the battlefield and anywhere in the game. Also, doesn't matter like terrain, it's a water or a mountain, you can still fly over. So like Thea is a pretty interesting hero. Regarding like artifacts, um, uh, as we understand, Thea is a more like support type of hero, so, which means like not not ordinary uh, artifacts will be suitable. But as I said, Thea can be played with anybody, and I think any artifact will be great on Thea. But of course, there are like obvious cho choices. Uh, Spring Springbeard Feather is great because uh, you are gonna get a lot of March Speed uh, and March Speed is amazing uh, for the flying units like imagine you are flying heroes uh, are generally flying faster and you're gonna get additional more with the Spring Order, Springbeard Feather also amazing uh, support artifact Tier of Arbon you, uh, like magic unit defense if especially if you are playing with Atheus because Atheus is a mage uh, also, like most important is like healing for uh, friendly legions are healed by this uh, artifact skill. Uh, amazing artifact! I'm using it in campaign, in Dragon Trail, in Battlefield, in Roots of War. Uh, great, great artifact to have. Now, other than that, like there is not much uh, great uh, uh, artifacts uh, for like Thea. Like, okay, Fang of Ashkari can be great simply because you are getting a lot of legion defense. Uh, but like in the epic section, I think Magic Bomb will be fine because like Magic Bomb is all, all about damage factor and uh, only thing Thea does not have is a damage factor skill. So this is like my uh, obvious choices, like which is gettable right now. As you already know, I'm a free-to-play player and I, I am limited in my artifacts and in my hero choices. Uh, like... Uh, Last thing I will uh, speak about Thea is like Warpets and there are like obvious choices. Any Warpet which is flying can be suitable for Thea, even Berserker Frederick, even Sapphire Frederick, especially if you are playing with uh, like Thea and Atheus, uh, Sapphire Frederick will be perfect choice. If you are playing with uh, uh, Thea and Foron Deal or Thea with um, Craig, I think Berserker Frederick will be fine, uh, and uh, like uh, this is like my main choices. Like I already did 
uh, work it guides uh, single by single so I won't gonna talk much regarding that uh, like how you can generally get Thea is like two choices uh, simply from the gold chests uh, like here is uh, Thea gettable then if you want to upgrade her even faster uh, you can always go to the VIP shop and choose uh, Thea from here and every day whenever you're gonna log into the game you're gonna get additional Thea's uh, like one Thea per day uh, and like whenever heroes are even on the gold chest and you can get from the VIP shop you can upgrade them to awakening skill uh, even faster uh, this is all I wanted to speak regarding Thea uh, of course like, finally I'm settled to a new country and I will continue uh, making more videos Thanks for, uh, for you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,